What's going on, YouTube? It's United Gamer 101 here, and welcome to a Fallout 4 guide on how to get the first power armor in the game. Now, this is very easy to do. I'm going to state that right now. It is not hard to find, but I figured I'd go ahead and do it now because we're going to be having a lot of armor guides later on. Even though this is an easy guide, be sure to go ahead and subscribe for the future guides that we're going to be going into more detail for companions, bobbleheads, and armors like that. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with it, guys. So for time's sake, I'm going to speed things up, but you just got out of the vault, you've talked to Codsworth, and he tells you to go to Concord and investigate and see if you can figure out what's going on with your this whole life and your family. Um, obviously, don't swim in the water later on, so when I had to do this for the guide's sake, and I was hurrying. Um, but you're going to want to meet these guys called the Minutemen. Now, I'm going to show you where to get like bobby pins and stuff, because you are going to need that. But before we go on and do that, we're going to make a little pit stop and meet our dog. This is a great addition to the game. I absolutely love it. He's actually really helpful, too, later on. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and get him, and then we're going to cut on to Concord. So just keep running past the Red Rocket gas station, and then we're going to make it to Concord. Now, there are going to be some bandits here, but it's the beginning of the game. It's really easy, so don't really worry about it. Just go ahead and take it on. Um, but you are going to need bobby pins for this. If you didn't get it in the vault, which you could have done, um, you can actually get it from a building too, but we're just going to get it from inside the Museum of Freedom, which is where you're going to. Basically, in Fallout 4, they start you off strong. You already get a power armor, and we have another little surprise at the end of this if you haven't already done this quest, which I'm pretty sure you have. Um, I don't even know, honestly, how helpful this will be to you guys, because, I mean, if you're new to Fallout, you can get lost, and you maybe don't know where bobby pins are. I don't know what it may be, but, you know, we're going to go ahead and do this. But go ahead and take care of these bandits. They're really easy. Just use a little 10 millimeter pistol you got in the beginning. You also get a gun right here, too. I don't really like it, but go ahead and get it anyway. And then make your way inside the Museum of Freedom. Now, first things first, don't just go run into the action and gun blazing. Go ahead and go over here, get you the cigarettes. They are going to be helpful for later on. And then get you some bobby pins. Cigarettes are helpful with, like, modding weapons and modding stuff because you get materials from that. Just side note. Um, but go ahead and get your bobby pins, and you're going to come around here. There's going to be a couple enemies, but like I said, nothing too major you can't handle. Come on down here, and you can use the little terminal hack thing if you want, but the bobby pin's just easier. So go ahead and do this. Easy enough, come in here and get the fusion core. Uh, technically, you you know, you know kill all these bandits and they tell you you need the fusion core, but we're going to go ahead and get it anyway. Uh, make your way up and kill all these bandits at the very top. I'm going to speed this up so it doesn't take too long. So once all the bandits are dead, the Minutemen will now open their doors and let you talk to them. I'm not really going to go into the dialogue. You can learn the story and all that on your own. Uh, but you want to talk to them. You already had the fusion core. And now it's time for the power armor. And this is so awesome. I love this part. It is going to look so cool. I'm not even going to talk during it. I'm just going to let you guys watch and see how bad this thing is. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. You're going to see once we get done talking to them, we go with the fusion core and we get the first power armor. I recommend go ahead and fast traveling back to Sanctuary, the original city, you know, and just keeping it there for right now. You don't really need it or anything. You get the minigun, keep that around. I recommend saving the ammunition for that. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. This is how you get the first power armor in the game. Uh, make sure you get those bobby pins. It's pretty easy, like I said. We are going to have some more complicated guides later on. Um, this game is jam-packed with it. It's just the intro is actually pretty easy. So I went ahead and showed it off anyway, just in case we have some new gamers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more guides. And remember, at the end of the day, guys, it's not just a channel. It's a family. I'll see you guys later.
somebody up here! Show me that fancy gun up close. Not a lot of people can get past my boys. Give me that! Get away! 